inspired by different things and one of my biggest inspirations coming up as a young climber was this photograph of Timmy Fairfield. To me, this photo was just this young, wily youth on this, this really difficult route. And I didn't know what the route was at that time. I, didn't, I had no idea. And I soon found out it was uh, lungfish. Sometimes you're inspired by the route. Sometimes you're inspired by the area. Sometimes it's the history, you know, and, and this photograph did it for me. Anybody that knows Timmy Fairfield knows of him as a uh, pioneer of, of you know, a generation before mine. As children, there are certain things that stay ingrained in our hearts, and I think that the imagery of our idols and our mentors and significant historical events, we pull out of magazines and posters, we put them on our wall, and we aspire to place ourselves in that position someday. It's very important to identify what inspires us. Someone doing something passionately, someone doing something with focus and intent in a manner that I wanted to do anything I did, not just that sport. I spied the direct start maybe, you know, three or four years ago and, and after visiting Rifle so many times, your brain starts to change and you see roots and you see other ways to climb things and you see link ups and whatnot. I, I think it's really interesting when people go back and work direct starts or alternate starts or finishes, look at existing routes with a new eye. Days and days, and I think even two seasons it took me to climb this route. And you know, it was just a simple mode of, of devotion. Two seasons of effort, man, that goes a long way. seems intense because it is. It's one of those personal endeavors that you, know, you just kind of know that it's just between you and the challenge. At the end of the day, it comes down to this love and this passion to complete the goal. You know? Completing the goal is the most important thing. So, there's always that that It's very important to identify what inspires us. There's a lot of non-verbal communication going on through the modality of climbing movement choreography being imposed onto this surface, a sculptural surface that's inspiring. That, that's something that only a still image can capture. This is Lungfish Direct. different than the other pieces of rocket rifle. Right? It, it's a, it, it's monumental in, in its bouldering output. I usually get lucky though, man. I just get lucky on those other sections. Look at existing routes with a new eye. That's what it's all about, man. There's a lot of route development out there to be done with that approach. And, and I like to do that at areas that, that I've developed or other people have developed. I like to revisit and, and reinterpret. 
be a, a part of us that that seeks to follow our dreams and we should look at those images that have stuck in our minds and our hearts and that helps cultivate our passion and then later we go and act on that passion. That's a part of our childhood that we should never lose as adults.